Crystal Demon channel. Today, we're going to be showing you the new, uh, like, mechanics we've added. And also, I've gotten some suggestions from friends to change, like, how, so, like, it feels, the map feels a little bit flat. And I totally agree. So, we're going to go into some terrain out here. We're going to edit some of the terrain really quickly to make it a little bit more of a, you know, abstract thing. So, let's get a montage of me quickly doing that. Let's see what else do we need to add so right now we've got a hill going right here so you can climb onto this building you can go up there so i think we're going to start developing the underground like portion of the map so i feel like um changing this floor to be marble or rock or something is going to be crazy so i feel like we should probably do this one yeah, that looks a lot better, especially with all the new graphics and everything. That looks quite cool. And then I feel like we could have just, I feel like we've got a lot of stuff. Um, but what we could add is a little shop area. So let's go ahead, stretch that down a little bit. Um, or just a little like stage where people can perform their tricks. I don't know. But we want some little areas uh, where people can like go out. Maybe we could add another one of those houses. We could make it a little bit less OP. So like this, extend it to there. And then we can go ahead, grab that there. and then here you know what let's extend this wall out just a little bit more and bring it up to there same with this wall extend it out bring it up a little bit more just like that just so it's not like completely thin but now we can have this we can bring this here
and then we can add this to there we can add this there we can make a little like gap opening area just like that so people can run in hold angles on you but also get shot back i feel like that's gonna be great and you know what we could add one of those walls that we've got over here and implement it there just to add more cover there we go just like that it's now we've got more and more cover on the map so we can uh like you know do all this so i'm feeling we should anchor this now and then make that a group model so anchor group it together duplicate rotate um so that's going to be back this one's going to be back over on the other side on the other side of the cave or the cavern and there we go right over there so now we've got this as you can see just like that we've got the wall a little bit there so you can obviously see out you can aim you, can, you know well you can't really aim in this but it's pretty good so now i think what we need is a little building that gets from the middle of the map to the bottom because what i want to do with the mill obviously we've got in the middle uh, that little opening i want to make this a mountain which you can enter and go on top of so I feel like we should start, we should get work to that and start that project right now. So I'm gonna get a time lapse of it going right now. around the mountain obviously we are going to add some little things as a talk uh, it's pretty cool so here we got two entrances uh, if you can make it to the second one uh, basically you gotta go to the first one you can like hold angles on people here uh, you can go through this you can uh, go over here you can meet up here but I will be adding uh, a little hole down to the bottom so let's find where the middle is here okay there we go so we're gonna go straight up from here just like that, so all areas can reach the bottom. So say you're on, on, the, on, the, on the top, you wanna go to the bottom, you can. Say you're over here, and you know, you wanna jump down, you can through here. So next, I think we're gonna add light sources, and also I can teach you how to do that. So you get a part, you go to model, you go to gameplay, effects, and then let's do um, surface light. Um, Brightness, let's turn that up to quite a lot. Let's move it. Um, let's move the whole like part itself. And then let's rotate it until we get light. Right here. Okay, there we go. So as you can tell, we've now got the hole here. We're going to move the object into there about here I think actually and then we can rotate and then we can move it to here again and now we've got a little entrance so you can see where the cave starts you can just jump down this hole here um, but now anyways let's get back to showing you around so if we go this way we've got a nice path that leads straight up to the top of the mountain so from this part of the mountain here you can wrap around you can fight whoever's on top and then obviously, whoever can climb the best can make it to the top of this mountain and you can have ultimate height. So no one around the map is able to hide from you if you are, have your graphics set to three or max. Well, three to max. Because then, like nothing will be able to hide because you'll be able to see everyone from there. So you can 
look at them, you can pull out your gun, you can ADS, well, you can't ADS, but you can predict your shot and you can fire. But anyways, now let's get into the underground because we're gonna add a light. So again, we're gonna use the same trick, grab a path, pull it down a little bit. We're going to add its transparency to one. Uh, we're going to make it so you cannot collide, you cannot query, you cannot touch. And then we're going to stretch it out all the way over to there. And then all the way to that side. And then all the way over there. Just so it, can, it, it provides us the light we need to see under the map. So let's go ahead and extend this one to here. Turn around and extend this all the way to the edge. And then finally make oh, make sure this one spreads out just a little bit. We're actually gonna go straight to it and see how far it stretches out. That's perfect. We can definitely use that. Now we're going to make a um, gameplay effect point light. Now where is the point light actually going? We don't know. So I'm just going to assume it's not there. So we're going to rotate the whole part itself. Like this. Doesn't seem like we can find it. So we're going to make sure we can. So let's get rid of this again actually really quickly. I feel like we should have done this first. Get the part, get the uh, the surface, the put the spotlight on it. Actually, let's have surface light. I feel like that's a lot better. Okay, now we know the surface light is pointing straight down. So we can scale this in and across and across. Then we can rotate this one straight. Just like that, or straight enough. We can go all the way down after we grab this part. And then place it right here. We can rotate. In fact, we're actually gonna make it even more straighter by using other parts to aid us. Just like that. Now we're going to go up. Now we're going to be able to, um, you know, put it there. We're gonna make it transparency to full again, just like that. Then we're going to have all the touch collides and queries on, uh, on it to be off, and then we're gonna go all the way down there. So now you should be able to see a lot more when down in the cave. Obviously, I don't know if we can see it from here, but it does look like we can see it. So that's pretty good, I think. Um, now let's get into some gameplay with some fans.